guys, it is Carl Brown for Guitar Lessons 365.com. I have a very fun song today. This is like a guilty pleasure song of mine. Just love it. It's just so catchy. It has some great little guitar stuff in it as well, too. So we learn how to do There She Goes by the Laws. So this is a um, classic kind of 80s thing. And uh, I know it's been redone by, you know, the, you know other bands and stuff, but Gonna do from the original here. So um, we're gonna, I guess there's original. I should've probably done my research. Pretty sure that's the original band that did it. Yeah, and then everybody else is covering them. But if I'm wrong, I'm sure many people will let me know. Anyway, uh, before I get into it, please subscribe to the channel if you have not already and ring that notification bell so you'll know when I release a new video. And uh, please, if you really wanna support what I do here on YouTube with all these weekly song lessons, like a few lessons a week, uh, check out my Guitar Academy. It's uh, just a great way to support what I do on, on YouTube. And it also gives you full access to all my guitar courses and a personalized support from me. Um, so you'll see a link to the description below to give you a free seven day trial. All my courses cover everything from completely beginner stuff to more advanced courses in technique, improvisation, ear training, theory, guitar tone, you name it. So click that link and go check it out, please. All right, hope to see you there. Let's jump into the song. So we're in standard tuning here. And we have this main guitar thing, which is instantly recognizable. It's a great little arpeggiated picking exercise. Um, and there's some slight variations in there. So I'm gonna show you kind of the variations instead of trying to detail when he does each one in the song, because it's kind of random at times how he plays it. I'm just going to kind of show you, these are the variations that he can do mostly at the very end. You'll see that little... That little section just kind of mess around with that little part. It's usually most of the variations happen there. And, and so that's the main lick, uh, that little guitar lick that you hear at the beginning of the song over that main section of the song. Over the bridge section, um, that's just really going to be the chords. I'm not going to try to focus on all the stuff he's doing over there. We're just kind of sticking with that main lick and then the chords for the song. All right, so let's jump into this main lick. It's really catchy. All right, so what we're going to do, it's kind of weird because most of the time we don't do you know, some people don't like doing these little bars or rolls with, uh, you're really barring here. You want these notes to ring um, with your middle finger. Um, but that's how he plays it. So you're gonna basically play the third fret on the uh, B and the high E. You're gonna kind of bar across those with your middle finger. So you're gonna pick the B string, then the high E string, then back to the B. Then you're gonna change the melody note, which is the note that's on the high E string to the fifth fret. So you're gonna still keep this third fret on the B. But now the note on the high E string is gonna be the fifth fret. So you basically keep going back and picking this B note. So you're gonna, uh, this, no sorry, it's a D note on the B string. So you pick that note to start with, right? And now we pick a note on the high E string, which is the third fret, then go back to that D. And then fifth fret on the high E, then back to that D. So now I'm gonna keep changing the note on the high E string while I keep going back to that note on the, that B note. I'm sorry, the D note on the uh, on the uh, B string. Too many B's and D's and E's. All right, so we have this. So now we go to the second fret there on the high E string, and then back to that D. Uh, on the B string, and then once again that bar, because we want the note to the melody note to be the third fret on the on the high E, and then back to that D note. So we have this. So we keep going back to that note. Start it with that note, and then keep going back to it after every melody note on the high E string. Now. You want to let them ring as much as possible. So now here you're gonna lift up that bar. And you're just gonna hold um, the the that third fret on the B uh, that we'll be doing. And what's going on here is we're just gonna go 
back and forth from the high E string down to the B string there. Three times. Then you're going to hit the open G string and then back to that third fret on the B. So uh, we have this. Now when you get to that, come back to that, after that open G string, basically the open G string ends the lick. When you get back to here, you're starting over again. Right there is the end then. Start over. Kind of does that four times, then the band, com band comes in and plays with it. Now, after playing that seven times, we have this. So we basically, you're doing, so after you go going across this, at the end of the lick, you're just going to go three, five on the B, then three, five on the high E string. And then just the first time you hear it, after that he goes three, five, three on the B. So we have this. And then you do that note again. Up to the, that we did before, so we have this. So. Actually, I think on that, at the very intro there, just because it's a little bit different, um, we have that melody that goes up to the high, the fifth fret there, and then we have this, we do that, three, five, three, and then from there, we just go to hold the fifth fret on the B, and then the high E, the third fret. Just kind of pick the cross those a couple times, a few times. So that's just the, the intro before the uh, vocals come in, so we have this. So that's it. And then we're going to jump up here and go. So it's playing the seventh fret on the B, fifth fret on the high E string. Hit it like five times. Then take it down to third fret on the high E, fifth fret on the B. Just hit that once. And then second fret on the high E, third fret on the B. So. All right, so this kind of thing continues. Now, the couple of variations you're gonna hear him do. So it's mostly what we just did. So this kind of goes on over all that. Um, so, uh, but he will have a couple times in the song he'll do this. So he just went, from that high E to the, the B string there, four times instead of doing three and hitting the open G. He'll just kind of skip the open G. And then start the lick again. So you'll, you'll hear that a few times in a song. And then most of the variations happen with this part. So, He'll do that a different number of times. He'll just kind of crawl up three, five, three, five, there we go. And sometimes I'll add that thing that we did in the beginning. That'll three, five, three on the B. So that's another variation. What I you could probably just kind of treat these randomly, at, you know, as you go. So we have this.
and you, you're always going to end up just doing, going across that five and a three and that little, that same little ending. So those are the variations. You just kind of mess around with them. He doesn't do them the same amount of times each time. So this section is just when he's doing it. So whenever that's going to the A, the G, the C, which we'll talk about in a second, that's when he's doing. But he plays that kind of part of the chorus. Like in the beginning, he just plays those chords one time through. And then later on in the song, he does it two times through. So he just, this is, he kind of messes around a little bit more twice as long. You know, just kind of mess around with those notes. All right, so um, let's get to the chorus right here. Alright, so we're going to start here with this G chord. So it's just standard G major chord. Now the version of G major we're doing here is with the uh, third fret there on the B. Not the open B version. From there, G to D. And then what we do is we go to a C add 9 chord. Um, now the C add nine, basically you're leaving just this note here, the, that third fret on the B we just talked about, that you're playing for, that was kind of a common note between uh, the G chord and the D. You're gonna just keep that there and go play a, basically a C chord underneath it. But this D right here makes it a C add nine. So what I'm doing underneath it is just the third fret there on the A, second fret on the D, open G, and then that third fret on the B again. You can have the open high E string with it too. So we have that. There she goes. And then you're gonna go back to that D. Remember, just leaving that finger there, it's kind of like a guide finger. You should no point in lifting it up. And hit that D chord a quick a couple of times before you start those that progression over again. So we have this. There she So now the third time through, we have this. So we're at that C chord, right? So instead of going back to that D a couple times, so this is the third time through, so. Here, what we're gonna do is, uh, we have this chord, you're gonna now go over and to the second fret, so you're gonna pick up those notes. Um, you can leave this one here. Uh, we're going to basically play the 2nd fret on the A, 3rd fret on the A, then back to the 2nd fret. You can do that with the open D, open G, and that 3rd uh, fret of the B being held. So with this. So it's just a little moving bass line that they add to it. So with Probably getting these chord, these lyrics wrong. Um, I don't have the lyrics in front of me. But from that little move we did, we go to an A minor chord. Now this ha happens in the intro too, the same progression. You know when there's you play that little instrumental guitar like four times, and then the band comes in on that D chord, and then starts this same exact progression that we're doing. So it's kind of a little. Kind of instrumentally. But, and when it gets to this little A minor, G to C, it only does the progression once there in the intro. But when there's vocals going on, they're doing that same progression, uh, it usually do it, does it twice. So we have this A minor after. We have this A minor. And then we go to this G. Now I've been playing it like this, We because you still want the, the B note here. Uh, I'm sorry, 
the B string version of it. So it's a, it's a D note. So we have this third fret on the low E, second fret on the A, open D and G, and then that third fret on the uh, B string. And then to a regular C major chord. Now the reason why he goes to a regular C major, you can hear, he quickly picks up the note on the, the finger on the B string to make it an open B. This makes it a major seventh chord real quick. And then, and then back to that C. So from the A minor, we have this. Hear that? It's pretty quick. And then from there, we go back to, to the D chord a few times. So all together, the instrumental versions, like when the band kicks in, looks like this. And then the vocals come in. So now the vocals come in, we're going to repeat that A minor G to C twice. And then to the Ds. And you repeat everything in. So basically, then it just kind of keeps going through um, the same progression without any vocals, with the same going over it. So we have this. So So basically the instrumental, I think it goes back just the instrumental version like we did in the intro, which we're doing that A to G to C progression in there just one time through. All right, and then we get to the bridge of the song, which looks like this. Comes right out of that. There she goes, there she goes again. All right, so then it gets back to the chorus. So we're gonna start here. Um, you can play this whatever, however way you want, what finger is, but it's an E minor seventh chord. So uh, you, if, if you wanna play, keep this, like we're still playing that C add nine in here. So if you wanna keep that chord going, you can go over and grab this E minor with these two fingers, which is always a little awkward. Um, it's probably better to play it like that, but anyway. Um, because of the next chord, you might want to do it like this. So it's just the, the open E string, second fret on the A, second fret on the D, open G, that third fret on the B, open high E. Then to that C add nine chord we did before, then back to that E minor again, and then back to the C add nine. So we have this. All right, now we're gonna pick up the pace a little bit. We're gonna go to that D chord. It's just kind of a transition chord. Hit it two times real quick. So this is kind of like the, the, the chorus, which is that G, D, C add nine, D, G, D, 
All right, so we just kind of uh, go through those chords twice. So the second time you get around in, in this part to the C add nine, we're gonna do that uh, kind of a little move again, a little bass line down to that A minor chord. But this is different. So we're still in the bridge here. We're gonna go from that A minor chord. Then the E minor chord. So straight E minor, no E minor seven. From there, we're gonna to go to a C major. Straight C major. And then pound on that D a little bit. And then it takes us back to the chorus. All right, so all together for the bridge. There she goes, there she goes again. She comes of course. All right, so it's just back to the chorus thing again. Then it start, kind of starts the chorus over again, but kind of just halfway through it when you get to that G. Just uh, let it out. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. It is a fun track. It's kind of hard not to have a smile on your face when you're playing this thing. Uh, but it really would sound best with um, a couple guitarists. So we got one doing it. Or the other one. Got that going on with it, it's gonna sound a lot better. All right, so hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.